Good evening, mga mahal, my fellow gods, beloved. I am here in this beautiful place. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We praise you, Lord, and we glorify you, O oh God. You are worthy of glory and honor and praise, Father. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful night. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And my cutie tooties are here. No, don't go there. Come on, baby. Stay here. Look. There they are. Tutti Doody and Tutti Cutie. That's their official name. Come on, baby. They are walking on this grassy patch. Come on. Don't go there yet. No. You can't go there. It's too far. Okay, come on, baby. Stay here. You have to stay here, okay? Just walk on the grass, and I think I want to cover this one here so that it will not be able to go anywhere. Because what happened when I brought them at the park by the river, it went for a walk very far, and it actually swim, swam by the river. And now it's back, and it's nice for them to walk the grass here. Father God, thank you Lord for this wonderful time for me to be able to read God's word here in this beautiful place. Oh yes, there they are hiding because they want to hide. Ah, oh, okay. It's okay, baby. Thank you, Father. We praise the Lord and we glorify you, oh God. Your words, your glory and honor and praise, Father. Yes, you're so good. You're so wonderful. You're so awesome. Yes, Lord, you are the first and the last, the beginning and the end. <laughs> They're hiding underneath the grass. The Alpha and the Omega. Hallelujah. He was the first. Oh, yes. He was the last. Hallelujah. He was the dead. But he came to life. Yes, Lord, you are alive forevermore. He knows our words and let's be in faithful, hallelujah. He knows our poverty, we should endure, yes Lord. He knows our tribulation, we should not fear. For no servant is greater than his master, yes Lord. No servant is greater than his master. Who has an ear? I actually went to buy a food from that pig, pig lover shop, pig shop there. Who has an ear? Let him hear. Hallelujah. Who has an ear? Let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. That's a church there, <laughs> Methodist church. And he who is faithful. Receive the crown of life. Yes, Father. As we are faithful to you, Lord, yes, you will receive the crown of life, the crown of rejoicing, the incorruptible crown, the crown of glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, we praise the Lord and we glorify you. Oh, God, your words of glory and honor and praise, Father. Yes, you're so good, Lord. You're so awesome. You're so wonderful. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for this lovely lovely evening. Thank you, Lord, that no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper. And every tongue which rises against us in judgment, we do condemn. This is our heritage as a servant of the Lord, and our righteousness is from you, O Lord of hosts. If there are those who have been speaking or praying against us, or seeking harm or evil to us, or have rejected us, Lord, we forgive them. Having forgiven them, we bless them in the name of the Lord. Now we declare, O oh Lord, that you and you alone are our God. And besides you, there's no other God, hallelujah, that we worship. Only Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Come on, Mahal. Let's continue to read God's word. Um, and today is actually 
the December 26th. It says her that. Hallelujah. Jesus became a baby so that he could become our Savior and King. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, who is and who was and who is to come. The Almighty. Revelation chapter 1, verse 8. And it says here also that uh, the Lord is far from the wicked, but he hears the prayer of the righteous. Amen. It is in Proverbs chapter 15, verse 29. And another word here. Um, at once, the angel was joined by a huge angelic choir singing God's praises. Glory to God in the heavenly heights. Peace to all men and women on earth who please him. Luke chapter 2 verse 13 and 14 in the Message Bible. Father God, thank you Lord. The Son is in IV. <laughs> in IV. And you. Hallelujah. Thank you Father. Oh, bless you, bless you Lord. We glorify you, Father. We magnify you, Lord. Come on, mahal. Let's continue on reading God's word now in the book of where are we now? <laughs> in the book of Second Kings chapter 4. We have not finished reading chapter 4 but we will continue on reading chapter 4 and also continue with 5 I suppose. Hallelujah. We are reading here the miracle during a famine father god as we read your word lord help us to understand give us father the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you O oh father god as we continue to read your word in jesus mighty name the name above all names we pray amen and amen thank you father let's continue on reading god's word Hallelujah. Okay, now it says here that miracle during a famine. Elisha now returned to Gilgal, and there was a famine in the land. One day, as the group of prophets was seated before him, he, he said to his servant, Put a large pot on the fire and make some stew for the rest of the group. One of the young men went out into the field to gather herbs and came back with a pocket full of wild gourds and he shredded them and put them into the pot without realizing they are poisonous some of the stew was served to the men but after they had eaten a bite or two they cried out men of god there is a poison there is poison in this stew so they would not eat it so elisha said bring me some flour then he threw it into the pot and said now it's all right go ahead and eat and then it did it it did not harm them wow praise the lord and uh, on on okay one day a man from bel shalisha brought the man of god a sack of fresh grain and 20 loaves of barley bread made from the first grain of his harvest so elisha said Give it to the people so they can eat. What? His servant exclaimed. Feed a hundred people with, with only this? But Elisha repeated. Give it to the people so they can eat. For this is what the Lord says. Everyone will eat and there will even be some left over. And when they gave it to the people, there was plenty for all the for all and some left over just as the lord had promised wow reminds me of uh, god when jesus multiply the fishes and bread <laughs> there was also left over thank you father this is elijah and elijah is something like the father and god also and jesus of oh, jesus and the holy spirit there is so much revelation actually as we continue to read God's word but uh, not for me to say yet I have to pray and uh, more and read more about many times hallelujah come let's carry on reading um thank you father uh 
let's read continue on reading chapter 5 that thank you you can do miracles and wonders chapter 5 the healing of Naaman the king of Aram had great admiration for Na Naaman the commander of his army because through him the Lord had given Aram great victories but through Naaman was a mighty warrior he suffered from leprosy at this time Aramean raiders had invaded the land of Israel and among their captives was a young girl who had been given a, to Naaman's wife as a maid. One day the girl said to his third mistress, I wish my master would go to see the prophet in Samaria. He would heal him in his leprosy. So Naaman told the king what the young girl from Israel had said. Go and visit the prophet. The king of Aram told him, I will send a letter of introduction for you to take to the king of Israel. So Naaman started out carrying as gifts 750 pounds of silver, 150 pounds of gold, and 